Kelly, with 10 multi-platinum albums and 16 US Billboard Top 30 hits, Foreigner are universally hailed as one of the most popular rock acts in the world. Why do you think this is so? Well, I think it really comes down to the quality of the, of the songwriting, really. It's the songs. Um, uh, whether it was a combination of that and these songs being re- released to the world at a time where uh, it was easier for them to be widely experienced as opposed to today where there's so many different outlets and there's so many different ways to, to get music and other kinds of entertainment that things can be more diluted. Um, that might have a possible effect too, but I think it's really the, the strength of the songs and, uh, and how they've worked their way into the, the, the atmosphere and into the ethos and, and they've been around for 40 years and, uh, everyone know, knows who, what the songs are and, uh, and, uh, that's really a credit to Mick and, and uh, and his ability to write these, these memorable songs. And, you know, great arrangements, great recordings, great performances on record and so on. So you joined the band back in 2005 after Lou Graham left in, in 2003 yeah. due to continuing conflicts with me. It said that uh, you're in the starting lineup of any classic rock replacement game, that you are, you bring an incredible energy to the to the front of this band. I do like to have energy on stage. I like to interact with the audience. I always say I like to play with the audience, not to the audience. And I think that's true of everybody in this in this uh, in the band. And um, and I think that has a real positive effect on and on how we've been able to really bring this band back into a really great place in the last 13 years. I read something that I guess all of us have been thinking that you you say that it's unlikely that Foreigner will ever release a whole album again because it makes no sense to do entire CDs anymore in this day and age. Can you explain about that? Well, um, when we did our last full CD in 2009, which was Can't Slow Down, we spent a year, now keep this in mind, a year of our lives um, taking the energy to write and record a full album's worth of material while we were on the road in the U.S. and Europe so imagine just being on tour alone is hard enough, but add trying to compose music out of thin air and record it and have it to be of a standard that, you know, is required for foreigner. And then the day it was released, you could get it for free on the Internet because people were, were trading it and giving it away. And that's very disappointing. Uh, and it's a reflection of the times. And I think that um, uh, it just makes more sense in this day and age with people downloading and streaming music, people can download or stream a single song at a time. They don't buy the whole CD anymore. Uh, so I just think it makes sense to do one or two songs at a time and do a mini campaign around them like that. I, I think the, the model for a CD uh, kind of style of release is, is no more. I think that day is over. I had a look at the promo clips you've got for the latest songs you've released, Foreigner with the 21st Century Symphony Orchestra and Chorus. How come Foreigner right. has come together with the new orchestral format? Well, actually, you know, it was, uh, it was interesting. They came to us, but we realized the, the mountain of work it would be, first of all, the months in creating arrangements for an orchestra to go along with Foreigner songs. And then there's the, um, the rehearsals with the orchestra and working out all of those parts, and then there's the mechanics of how we mic everything up to record it. You know, a full live rock band on stage with an orchestra creates a lot of problems sonically in order to record. So that was a lot of work, but I think it came out really great. What uh, what songs are we going to be hearing from Foreigner with the orchestra behind you? Well, you're going to hear all the the, the big hits that you would expect to hear, and and. Uh, and as usual, you're going to hear songs where you're going to go, oh, I didn't know Foreigner did that song as well. So, <laughs> and, uh, so uh, yeah, it'll be, it'll be complete uh, across the board. Kelly Hansen, thanks so much for talking to me today. It's been a pleasure getting to know you a little bit. And Australia can't wait to have Foreigner return to play national orchestral dates this October and November all over the country. We're looking forward to it as well. Can't wait. Thanks so much, Kelly. All the very best to you. Travel safe.